Hi, my name is Eleanor Silverstein, and today I'd like to talk to you about something that people don't talk about often, and that's breathing. But wait a minute. You say Feldenkrais practitioners talk about breathing all the time. We talk about being aware of our breath, breath incorporated with how we're moving, whether we're moving quickly, whether we're flexing our bodies or extending our bodies, whether we're moving easily or not moving, moving easily. I want to talk to you about an additional way of breath and what this has to do with nitric oxide. Nitric oxide levels in our body. Some amazing research was done. The Nobel Prize was won in the 1980s, I think around 1985, on looking at nitric oxide levels in our body and what that does to the endothelium cells, which are the smooth muscle, the smooth muscle lining inside our arteries and blood pressure. What happens when nitric oxide levels are low? The blood pressure goes high. And what happens when nitric oxide levels are high? The blood pressure comes down to a normal level. What do we know? Well, let me just say, Moshe Feldenkrais had this thing that he talked about, which was feeble breathing. The people tend to breathe so shallow, minimalistic, not a place where you want to minimize your life. Because in that minimal breathing, what we know is that our nitric oxide levels go down. And when do they go down? I think from my observation is the most is when people are sleeping. That's when people really do the shallow breathing. Or for those people who snore and snore really loud, they're breathing out of their mouth. Or for people who have sleep apnea, they're really not getting much breath and not oxygen. So we always think, oh, it's an oxygen thing. It's bearing down with, with that and therefore needing a CPAP machine. But what we're noticing is that even NIH did research that nitric oxide levels are very, very high. They're the highest level in the nasal passages. They're in the lowest levels in the mouth. So, when you breathe in in your meditation class, or any time, through your nose, notice how that makes you feel. That raises your nitric oxide levels really high. And where is it that it really brings the nitric oxide levels super well to? The arteries, the arteries into the area in the, the art, main pulmonary artery going into the heart and to the heart. Those areas are the areas that will get the most amount of nitric oxide. And so it relaxes them and they work easily and it's less work on the heart and we feel more relaxed and life is better and we're more happy, we're more relaxed. So is it meditation? Is it Feldenkrais? Is it anything except that what we know, it's the breathing in through the nose. So if you have issues with breathing in through your mouth, you have to work with that. But why do we know now that CPAP machines help people with sleep apnea is it's pushing it in through the nose and it's getting that those oxygen levels or the, the nitric oxide levels to go up. And what other way? Well, you know I'm a foodie. Many of you know I'm a foodie. There's many foods that actually are super high, super high in nitric oxide. And some of them are celery, Chinese cabbage, fennel. Think about all the great fennel, shaved fennel salads you can make. Leek. And here's the one, the magic one that is magic for everything. Parsley. Of course, go for the organic parsley. Lettuce, lots of leafy greens. And red beet roots. Spinach and arugula. Imagine how many things you can make, different greens, different salads, everything that you can make from this grouping right here of very 
important foods, super high in nitric oxide. So our blood pressure doesn't go up because we're missing drugs. Our blood pressure doesn't go up because we got older. But maybe our breathing got more shallow. Maybe our breathing got, as Moshe would say, more feeble. So the thing I say to you today, take away with your everything that you do. <sighs> take in that beautiful deep breath. Think about what your breath does for you. And let it be your life. And have a good one today.